my first pride experience, the first time I found welcome and inclusion was at a gay bar. The most powerful part of that night was I got a chance to go to a place for the first time in my life where I could see people who looked like me, who were experiencing life together like me, folks holding hands, two men being able to hold hands and kiss, or two women being able to hold hands and kiss. First time I'd ever seen that in my life. I clutched my pearls. I was a little country boy from Fairmont, North Carolina. I was like, oh, Lord, what is this? Okay, I like it, but I don't know what to do. This first time I'd had a chance to be able to be in that space where it was okay. I kept looking over my shoulder like, Lord, who's going to see me here? The first time I'd ever had a chance to be present. The first pride event that I had a chance to actually go and experience as a, a spectator was DC Pride in 2016. If any of you remember, 2016, we woke up to the news of Pulse Nightclub, the massacre that had taken place there. What that reminded me of and what all the other Pride events reminded me of is the need for us to be present and us to show up and to live out this gospel, this message that Jesus has called us to live and to love one another to love ourselves, and then go out and love others just as Jesus has taught us to love. 